Listen, you're not making any sense. Listen, listen what I'm trying to tell you. Listen, listen. You get caught up on names. Right Mark, Sean, Luke, Peter, Paul, they all got their stuff. All that stuff is from the Old Testament. Can't be Lou, warm, gotta pick a side. Pick a side. Who am I? Speaking Hebrew, that's the question I'm asking you. No, and that's the problem. Okay, so listen, hold on, hold on, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 11. Bring it up. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. So what does that mean? Read it again. Read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 11. For with stammering lips. So with stammering lips. And another tongue. And another language. Will he speak to this people? So what does that mean? I have to look at the, uh, I have to look at the, uh, what's the color on the bottom? What, are, what do you mean, what's what, what the bottom? What scripture do you want to do want to send you to while you read that scripture? What did the bottom, what did the notes tell you what scripture you're supposed to read that one with? You, you're not understanding. It says, with stammering lips and another tongue. Hold, hold on, brother. Let me, let me tell you. With stammering lips and another tongue, right, he shall teach his people. Meaning, you're saying there's no J in, in the Hebrew. Are we speaking Hebrew? We're speaking English. So we pronounce Judah. We pronounce it Judah. If we was in Chinese, how would you pronounce Judah? Oh, answer my question, please. If you were speaking Chinese, how would you pronounce Judah? Okay, if, if you were speaking Farsi, how would you pronounce Judah? I don't know, none of if you were speaking language. German, how would you pronounce Judah? We're speaking English, that's why we pronounce it Judah. Right, right. but but you you wouldn't under you 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 don't understand that. You know why? Give me Zephaniah oh, chapter. Give me Zephaniah. Three. The ancestral notes ain't in English originally, brother. That's why you gotta read it with a concordance. That's the reason. Do we got why the Bible dictionary? Do we got the Bible dictionary? Listen, man, I'm telling you, you, I'm, I'm just trying to prove a point. You don't know these things because you're not gathering. You are not going to learn the Bible I'm, by yourself. I'm not saying I know it all, but what I'm going to do I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying finish. you're not going to learn the Bible unless you gather. Like, you I cannot learn the Bible reading I by yourself. I don't expect to learn the Bible inside out by myself. I expect to get my own understanding of the scripture, then study in a group. You can't come to no man you blind and let a man... You can't get your own... There's, there's no oh, such thing as your own understanding. Give me, give me no private interpretation. Give me, give, me no, give me no private terms. I'm just trying to show you, like, you got to gather, man. I know right? that. Read. There's a time and a place for here, here, Here's your private, here, here's, your, here's your own understanding. Read this. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for... No private interpretation. You, you said you don't read the what? I don't read the Second Testament with the European names. That tells you right there, there's a twist on the answer. Second Peter 1. Hold on, hold on. Second, let me hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. We call, this a, we call this a Bible. But hold on, hear me out. It's not a Bible. They ancestral notes. That start, hold on, let me finish. That started off in Hebrew. That been through different man's hands, and now was in English, brother. That's why there's so much confusion around the scripture. Listen, we're gonna help you out. Listen, you gotta listen now. Listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to belittle you. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to disrespect you in any way, shape, or form. He just read you. How can you learn unless another man teach you? So you gotta be willing to listen. Now listen to this. You said you want to have your own, get your own idea, and listen to this. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures is of any private interpretation. So the Bible not going to get your own private interpretation. Let's read that. Let, so you say you don't read, you only read the Old Testament. I'm on the Old Testament. Once I get to the Second Testament, I'm going to have to look at it with my eyes knowing that it's been through different, different man's hands. I'm different societies. The, uh, the Greeks. The other society after that. That's why you got these names like Timothy and Matthew and this and that. Does that sound right? Because the first name sounds... Let me ask you a question. Let me hear you. 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 Let me hear
So, look at the names, brother. That's the twist they putting on ancestral notes. It's not. My bacon smelling fine. It's not Bible. It's ancestral. We're we, we, we gonna read about the King James Bible. Hold on, hold on. You're not making any sense. Listen, I'm listen what I'm trying to tell you. Listen, listen, listen. You get caught up on names. Right Mark, John, Luke, Peter, Paul, they all got their stuff. All that stuff is from the Old Testament. You don't know that because again, you're not gathering with like-minded men having study. Right. You think you think you, you think you're studying. You know, I, I did a, I did a whole year of what you're doing, wasting my time spinning my wheels. Right. Right, right. A whole Get year out. of thinking I can study by myself and learn the word of God. You cannot do it by yourself, bro. Right. You, you listen, listen, listen for me. You don't know because if you did, you graduate. I mean you you you, 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 you congregate, but we're gonna read about the King James Bible. Because you said it's been through all this stuff, right? Read. This is the compact the Zondervan Compact. Bible Dictionary. Uh, concordance. King James Version. No, it's the Combat Bible Dictionary. It's not the Concordance. I, I, I study all right, all right. If, but if you gather with like-minded men, once again, you would know these things. King James Version. When Elizabeth died in 1603, the crown passed to James the first who had been king of Scotland for 17 years as James VI. Several months after he, he ascended the throne of England, he authorized a new translation of the Bible. So King James authorized a new translation of the Bible. Listen, listen to what happened. To read it. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen what happened. Because you, you brought up Greeks and Romans and all that. Listen what he did. Nothing was changed. Read. He authorized a new translation of the Bible to replace the Bishop's Bible. 47 of the best Hebrews and Greek scholars. So 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars got together. Right. 47 of the best Hebrews and Greek scholars of the days were divided into six groups. Three for the Old Testament. Three for the Old Testament. Two for the New Testament. Two for the New Testament. The, 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 the one you have a problem with the name. Three. And one for the Apocrypha. The Greek captivity. Three. Two of the groups met at Oxford, two at Cambridge, and two at Westminster. When a group had completed its task, its work was submitted to 12 men, two from each panel. Final differences of the opinions were settled at a general meeting of each company. In cases of special different difficulties, learned men consulted. So the Hebrew and Greek was just translated to English so you and I can understand it. That's all. It wasn't changed. It was translated. And how do I believe? Because I believe in the word of God. Give me Romans 3 and 3. Let me tell you one thing, brother. When you hear a story from one man, and it trickle down two, three, four. Romans 3 and 3. Two, three, four, down five, six other men. To, this, to us now, the story always changed, brother. Oh, the story always changed. You're not right. going to get in the original story All right. six places down, then right. you can get it from the original you, man. You ready for this? So that's what I'm telling you. You ready, ready for this? All right. Ready. This, this, hey, this is that New Testament that you don't like. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 3. For what if some did not believe? What if some didn't believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So, since your unbelief make the word of God without effect? What don't I believe? God forbid! God forbid, man. That's right! God forbid. You, 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 cause I, I just tried to read to you, Timothy, I mean Peter, and you said you don't believe, you don't believe that because of some funky-ass names. Does that even make sense, bro? Gather together with like-minded men and women and you have understanding. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 